Awesome. So this is Darren with Leaders in Business Podcast, where CEOs and executives in the digital marketing and social media space share their best advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because leaders know what they're talking about. So let's get to it. In a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. So my name is Julia Serafine, and I'm a social media expert and consultant. I help clients from all over the world in all different industries grow their social media accounts. Oh, that's awesome. So what's the best thing about leading your business? Hmm. I would definitely say it's meeting people from all over the world and just getting to interact with so many different industries. Like I could be working on a salon one day, but then like the next day I could be working on baby clothes. It's so diverse. Yeah, it's really fun and keeps it fresh, you know. So I hear from other business leaders that can be challenged to grow your business in today's environment. What are the biggest challenges you see business leaders facing today? I would definitely say that it's the amount of saturation in business that people are really having an uphill battle against. Like for me, there are so many other social media experts out there, social media consultants, social media managers. It's really saturated, but setting yourself apart through hard work and through success is what really sets you apart. Yeah, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. So what is the best advice you can give other business leaders about creating a successful business? Always have a mentor. You can never do anything like all by yourself. If you have a mentor to like guide you, someone who's been in the space a long time and has had experience, like someone who could really help you grow your business from their own personal experience, that's a good mentor. And yeah. that'll help you really grow. I love that. I love that. And so what's, you know, what are the characteristics that you look for in a mentor? Hmm. I would definitely say prior success and experience, like years of experience, decades of experience. I have a few mentors now and they've been in the business probably combined like a hundred years. Wow. Like that's how, how long they've been in business between like all my mentors, not like one individual person with a hundred years of experience. <laughs> that'd be that'd be a pretty old mentor um, yeah <laughs> so, so what are like maybe let's let's just share like the top three things you've learned from your mentors in the past year hmm. first and foremost always protect yourself legally that's why I always have a marketing agreement put in place before I start working with someone another one would be to not overwork yourself there are only so many hours in a day and you need to spend some of them relaxing or you're going to get burnt out. And I guess the last one would be to tell as many people about your dreams as possible because you don't know who's going to be able to help you out. Yeah, that's great advice. And you know, I also noticed on your profile that you're uh, targeting like the younger generation, like you're really tapped in with the millennials. And so I'm really curious to hear about your insight uh, in this space, I mean, is there anything that you could share with how to reach and resonate with this audience? Millennials and Gen Z hate being marketed to. They hate brands. They hate any corporate entity. They don't trust it off the bat. But if you prove to yourself that you're like a person behind the screen actually talking to them and not just some faceless brand, then that's how you'll earn the respect of Gen Z and millennials. Okay. So what's, let's say I'm a big box brand or something and I don't have a face to it. How could I become more approachable? I would definitely say hire a social media intern who knows how to talk to Gen Z or millennial or even like a social media manager for your company who would just like be around the same age group as your target demographic and have them speak directly to the Gen Z and millennials that you're talking to in social media. So that like, they'll really resonate and have a meaningful conversation with each other. Yeah. And I noticed you're, you're talking a lot about like Instagram. So I mean, is there any specific strategies that you would share with our audience uh, about how they could go about doing that? Yeah. So I was actually at my guest lecture at NYU. I talked about the Instagram algorithm and I would say utilizing the algorithm to its fullest potential would be your best bet. And one actionable step, you can do is to reply to as many comments as you can within the first hour of posting because that's when Instagram starts really counting your engagement and Instagram only shows your 
post to like 10% of your followers at a time. And if more of those 10% give you a larger percent of engagement, then it'll be shown to another 10%. So if you make it look like there's more engagement within the first hour or so, then you'll be able to get more engagement later on. Wow, that's powerful insight. And just going along that thread of the Instagram algorithm, you know, these algorithms are always shifting. Like Google changes search, search algorithm like 300 plus times a year. So that's like almost every single day. Instagram, a little less, but still it's, you know, it's always shifting. And as social media marketers and businesses, we're always adapting to what's coming through the pipeline. What are you seeing currently out there in Instagram land and the algorithm? Mm -hmm. I would definitely say they're giving rewards to people that are early adopters of their new platforms. Like people who are using Reels right now are getting a lot more engagement than people who are just posting normal videos or IGTV. Mm. If you start using something the second that it comes out, Instagram will give you a pat on the back. Nice. That's great advice. Well, it was a pleasure having you on. Um, and I wanted to ask you really quickly, you know, what other successful business leaders like yourself would you like to acknowledge and should be on the podcast? Hmm. One of my favorite Instagram accounts is solidace.create. She's also a social media marketer such as myself, and she's an expert, I believe, as well. Awesome. I'll definitely reach out to her. Now for the final fun question, who's the most interesting person to follow on social media and why? Hmm. There are so many different answers I could give. But I really think what Wendy's is doing is very interesting. Like, I feel like they're trying to break through the noise of like the Gen Z and millennial audience and whether or not they're successful in all of their posts, I can't say. But I feel like they're very interesting to kind of like see how their strategy is unfolding of reaching this new generation. Hmm. Interesting. I'll just take a look at them. I haven't had a chance to check them out. Thanks for that. And, you know, it was great having you on the show. How can people find, find you? So I have a website, juliaseraphine.com. You could also Google me because my SEO is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also on LinkedIn. I just hit 10K, which I feel very proud about. And I've been bragging about it all week because I'm very proud. And I'm also on Instagram. You could just look up Julia Seraphine in my account. Sapphire eyes will come up. So you could just look me up, Julia Seraphine. I'll be right there. And all my links are on my website too. Perfect. And we'll also put them all in the description box below. Well, that's a wrap. This is Darren with Leaders in Business Podcast. For more insights and ideas, go to our website, leadersinbusinesspodcast.com. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you. Thank you.